Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server. We are not yet on Minecraft 1.21. We are hanging out in 1.20 because we are waiting for some performance mods and other things to catch up. Uh, but right now we're walking into West Hill, which is the uh, medieval build, medieval fantasy build that I've been working on for the last few years. If you are not new, then you have been probably very familiar with this area. But uh, I've noticed a lot of new people coming in. I hope that's because the Spawn Chunks is pulling in new viewers from the now video version of the podcast that's on YouTube. And uh, if you're new, welcome in. And uh, you'll get a good look at the town as we around the corner here. So we've been working a lot the last few weeks in the valley. So we've been doing the farms. We did the lilac farm. We're doing the pumpkin farm today uh, we're going to continue on with that we've done a lot of the details along the road here uh, but this is kind of where where we've been hanging our hat and uh, i do now that we have some new blocks coming with 1.21 with different tough blocks and things i think there's going to be some fun things to do in the basement of the keep over there but for now we're going to be focusing on finishing this up and yesterday we actually were working on this front gate area so we've been working on this wall and all the details that the wall has and we got to here and I did like a little bit here but then we haven't we haven't taken it down you can see it's very basic just cobblestone and mossy cobble whereas up along here we've got bushes and grass and tough and cracked things and all kinds of details all along here so this is what we did yesterday and uh, I don't um I don't think I'm going to continue this right now I think what I want to do is get back inside here and finish up these pumpkin patches because down in this end we've got a lot of these uh, details like the double high ferns we've got the bushes we've got the different stems growing in different directions and i felt that that really helped inform what i wanted to do with the wall so parts where the the vines came up against the wall it made sense to kind of bring some moss and vines over so i think in order to do that uh, the rest of the way, I want to complete these these patches. You can see we've got some early layouts, but we really haven't done much. This is just the proof of concept that we did. So I want to finish this up, make sure it looks really good, and then uh, we'll move on from there. So we're going to load up our inventory with all the things that we need to do pumpkin pumpkin work. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday so far. Happy Father's Day to the fathers out there that are celebrating. All right, let's get rid of this too. We'll need the seeds. Guess I can turn off shaders as well. Although it's bright and sunny like this today here in Dartmouth. I wish it was like this in, uh, in Minecraft all the time. Maybe someday I'll have a machine that'll let me play with shaders. So we're going to need mangrove. We're going to need probably coarse dirt. Lots of moss and moss carpet. Uh, I'll come back for the texture blocks, I think, for the paths. I don't know if we'll need vines, but we'll take them anyway. Grass. What else am I going to need? Actual pumpkins. Small pumpkins. Oh, trap doors, which we need more of anyway. And what else? Probably these kind of trapdoors. Maybe some signs.
don't think there's anything else that I might need. Maybe we'll bring a couple of spruce fences. Mind Trip Media, thanks very much for the 100 bits. Really appreciate that. If I have any player heads, I should use those first. Looks like we don't. And I have mangrove bushes, but I'll get more. I might need azalea. What else do I need? 1256, hello, welcome in. Thanks for the follow. Uh, oh, right. I need the root blocks and the, and the hoe. Right, 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 right. Might have to make more of those. Oh no, I get some. Bring these as well. And the hoe. So where did we leave off? I guess we left off sort of here. These are being, this is waiting to grow. There's only the one left to grow there. So we're onto this side and this one, that grew that way. I feel like here we probably want to have a seed here. And then we're going to have to put something down to block this. So what's a good thing to use? Let's use a trapdoor. So it's really obvious. So that pumpkin should only grow in that space from now on. And I, it might be kind of cool to actually have little fences at the end of these places, but we'll, we'll wait for the very end. I think before we do that, uh, this one did not grow. So let's just remove that one. And that'll grow that way. And this one grew that way. And I guess we'll do the same thing here. It's too bad they just don't attach straight away. I wish they did. That would be nice. I think that's all. Oh no, wait, that has to. Right, that's. What's going on here? All right, I'll let that one grow. And I guess I'll just let RNG decide where that one goes. It's going to be a long process, unfortunately. We're going to have to wait for all this. Maybe I'll AFK later on today and let it all grow up. And this one didn't have a direction either. Where do we want that to go? I'd say right there. That one grew in. I'm fine with these not having anything. Luke, you're on vacation. Good stuff. I'm not on vacation. I have not had vacation in a very long time. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you taking your time out of your vacation to, to watch the stream. Are you on a trip? Killing time at an airport? Or are you just having a, a staycation at home? These have actually grown, so this is good. This is what I want this to look like. And situations like this, this is where I think we might be able to push maybe I think that looks all right. So 
to do stuff like that. And that's just a carpet there. I wonder if I bother to try... Oh no, that's a whole thing. What if I put... I'm sure I've tried that before. Oh right, I need shears for those, don't I? I think that might be better off as a full-on leaf block. So I want to put a vine in here somewhere. There's no space. So maybe we'll actually sacrifice this one here. I like that a little bit better. Although this could also just be straight up mangrove. I think I like that. It's good. I think a minimum of two, um, two tall ferns. I think would be a good, good idea. Can I go through how my shulker box system is organized? I mean, it's um, it's usually by block type, really. It's not it's not a system that I thought of before I started doing it. I just I've been doing it for seven years, so it just kind of builds up over time. Uh, there's things like a landscape box, redstone box. My tools are all in one box. Uh. At this stage of the game, a lot of it is is single single blocks and block types. So like there's a cobblestone, andesite, stone, stone brick. Because like when you think about how many of those blocks I'm using, um, it's worth it to have a full shulker box of each one. I kind of want a tall vine here too. Maybe, all right, it didn't, I don't think it looked good. We'll try it again. I think it was like stuck inside the the block or something. I don't want to get rid of uh, that because it's grown into that pumpkin, but I, I kind of want a leaf block there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I also use the map a little bit as a guide. Got some dark spots showing up, but those are eventually gonna get covered up. Luke Lad, thanks for the sub tier one. Appreciate it. You can connect your Discord and your Twitch and join the Joel Duggan Discord now. Very cool of you. Right, so th those are all. This is the one that I've, I'm going to have to sacrifice something because I don't think it looks very good. Uh, I feel like it would be good to have some bushes here. Mistakes were made.
Yeah. And then back here, maybe we'll get rid of one of these two. That's not bad. I had a bush here. Helps a little bit. I also don't know. I should have brought... Um, I don't know if I can do... That could be fun to kind of counteract a bit of the orange here and there. I like that. Breaks it up a little bit. All right, we'll do a... Don't let me forget to do a pass with the vines. This still feels like a lot of pumpkins in a row. So these two here. Yeah, I think I'm going to move this one. Might make, might make more sense to have this there. And then I squeeze probably some more burn action happening back here. What I'm trying to do is also not line them up. So if I put a fern, I'm trying to make sure that there's not another one right in line with it. So that when you're walking down the path here, they feel a lot more staggered. Or when you see them from the road. You really only see the tops of them anyway. I'm just happy to be catching the stream. Well, I'm happy for the support. Pretty cool community. I'm a little biased, but if you've got the uh, if you've got the the Discord connection, then do it up, and we'll see you in the in the Joel Duggan Discord. All right. I do think I need to go get some blocks. I may not have enough inventory space, so I want to do this wall as I go. Oh, no, won't need that. I'll need. That, that, that. And then maybe pressure plates. So the idea behind this wall was that it, it maybe could have been an old border of the farm that's since been expanded. I think I want it to come a little bit farther in this way.
Maybe we can do like a sideways bit here. Try to make it look as broken as possible. I think that's sort of working. Maybe I'll do a full block there. No, I think we'll go go low. Maybe we'll even curve it around this way. Maybe this could be the tough block. Yeah. Oh, I was trying to I remember I was trying to curve it over to there, wasn't I? It's alright, we can put the top block here. Hmm. I kinda whether whether this could be a little bit more like that, maybe. Yeah, I like that. I like that better. Really wish we could put something there, but obviously it's in between spaces. I don't know about this. That might be a better solution. Yeah, more subtle. Thanks for the work and lurk, Blast Jordan. I appreciate that this is a pretty chill stream and people can have it up on their second monitor if they're getting some work done. Now, I want it to work that way, but it just doesn't just doesn't jive. So this is where I would probably want to have an actual pumpkin plant again. Whoops. That will grow in the only space it can. really want this to be something different. I guess maybe we'll try gravel. But I think the wall looks pretty good. I 
I almost want to put this as tough. Yeah, that's a little bit better. A little more, more variety. I think that works. Hope they do that for 1.22, yeah. I'm looking for, I need to really prioritize updating to 1.21 this week if we can. All right, I don't think we're gonna need those. And I think I'm good with this stuff now. Do I have gravel out here? I must. Somewhere, yeah. It's either gravel or packed mud. I need to get my pebble texture working again, too. I think that'll probably work. You know, I think I like that better. That's fine. Maybe we'll put the gravel here. The idea is that this wall used to be maybe here. We're going to put another one in. But it'll be like a broken down wall. That's the plan. I guess at the end of these, we might be able to entertain a little bit more grass sneaking in. Or I could just have the grass grow on the coarse dirt too. Yeah. It'll be nice when the path is all textured as well. Thanks, Andy. So now this side, so I'll put fern in here. May or may not like that, but we'll have to also put a trapdoor here. Some of this could be cool, like if we decided to do an actual fence. We did that here. Might try to work in some fences along the way. Although, it might feel a little bit cramped. I mean, obviously it hides the grass too. We could try it here. No. A little bit too square. Yeah.
So I'll put that back just because that's where the pumpkins can grow. We did that over here. Did that work? Oh, it worked. Cool. I think that's the first time one of them has grown on stream. Some of these spaces I could also be putting these small pumpkins too. That's something I have to remember. I do like that little leaf there. This is not the best, so maybe here we can put a small pumpkin. Yeah. I think it might be worth it. I was talking about this on the Spawn Chunks podcast to drop some of these down so that it's lower to the road. So like, for example, here's a really good one. I can get rid of this. Whoops. Right, so it's it's lower to the road than a full pumpkin block. So you don't feel like you're walking down the Star Wars trench of pumpkins. This actually would be a really good spot to do an armor stand. Maybe we'll do that. Let's go see what that looks like. It might be fun to leave the mud there too. Have to make sure that we update this data pack as well. That's the big thing. It's it's less the mods. The mods seem to update fairly frequently. It's more the data packs that either break completely, don't update at all, or are, um, are a problem. What do I like better? I think I like the green for there, but I think I like this here. Give it to and if I switch it to the head, then it becomes not as big as a full block, but bigger than a mini block. I think that's on the ground. And then here we can actually rotate it a little bit too. Yeah, I like it. And I have to like that block because I'd have to move the whole armor stand if I wanted to change that block. So we'll we'll leave that like that for now. 
not quite that. Let's go with maybe some moss or grass, maybe one of these. Yeah. Oh, I like that too. Don't get the opportunity to do that much. Amazing how much blocks at an angle does to the feel of the place. 100%. Yeah, anytime that you can... Anytime you can put a block at an angle or imply something off-grid in Minecraft, I find it very, very helpful. So this one was really rough. We don't have any... Any spots for growth. I prefer it when they're in the middle, but I want something tall there. So then here we'll plant pumpkin seeds. I guess one thing I could look at too, if I wanted these farmland pieces to be darker, I could hide some water somewhere. Make a waterlog that block, although it doesn't travel up though, does it? We did that over here. Saturating farmland is only horizontal. I don't think it has a vertical reach. If anybody in the chat knows better, let me know. But here the water is in troughs up here, so that's why all this is saturated. Or most of it. For whatever reason it doesn't reach. Why do these reach? Is it, are they shorter? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's weird. Hmm. Could waterlog a coarse dirt slab. You're right. That's true. That's true. It shows up as blue on the map, which is annoying. Well, I mean, here I could put, I could hide water underneath any of these, right? That's pretty central. Let's try that and see what happens. Steve's DH, welcome in. That didn't look like it was waterlogged. It is now. Let's see what that does. Oh, you can see it. I mean, you can only see it if you're standing on the pumpkin. That's annoying. I guess I could just hide it next to it. That would make more sense. And this is a pumpkin that's not really attached to anything. I could just put it here instead. OK. 
Can I really not get out of there? That's annoying. So we'll see if that changes the saturation of the farmland and if I like it better. I think it probably will look better. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe not. It's, a lot, it's very red compared to the mud. I mean, the mud's going to be mostly covered up by the pumpkins so there's that too yeah i don't know if i like that what do we think chat do we like the light farmland or the dark soft spoken welcome in thanks for the emote salute Oh, there's lots of space back here too. Let's double up on these maybe. Maybe not the double. Maybe we'll get rid of that. Yeah. Maybe a little bit too much. I really wish we could put vines flat on the top of the surface. That would be cool. Uh, Dylan Collins Smith likes the saturated farmland. Gives some contrast. That's fair. It certainly it certainly blends a little bit better there. It didn't reach this far though, which is odd, because it's underneath this. So it's like one, two, three. Or five it should it should get certainly to here oh is it only it's nine by nine so it's only four right so one two three four yeah so it's so it gets this one but it stops here All right I think that looks pretty good Now here is all kinds of didn't try hard enough. Front looks okay, but we really got to work on the back part here. I also want to see if I can do another one of these small fences. Where would be a good spot for one? I guess maybe on this side would be good.
Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely about getting it down and decorating it later. That's for sure. I just, I, there's, there just doesn't look like a lot of intention or thought beyond about this point on this left hand side. I do like the drop of the mangrove leaves into the ground, though. I find sometimes I get a little bit too uh, accustomed to replacing grass with moss. I, I tend to prefer the moss color most of the time, and I just it ends up making so much more work for myself. Do we want something to go that high? Unfortunately, I don't think we do. So it's that or it's a double high fern. I like that better. Yep. Maybe we'll do burn here instead. Kind of like the Vanilla Tweaks Moss Carpet Resource Pack. It allows the moss and moss carpet to overlay the block that it's on. Mossy pumpkins would be kind of cool. Moss, Vanilla Tweaks Moss Carpet Resource Pack allows the mo mass. I don't know what you mean. It... Does it make the moss carpet have a transparent or like, like a vine that has holes in it? Is that what it is? Oh, no worries, Sandy. Misclicks happen all the time. Maybe what we do here is drop this into the ground. And then I think, yeah, we can do, I forget that you can do two of these in the same block space. That's a fun idea.
Man, these vines really help integrate the pumpkins. Makes them feel a little bit more like they're attached to things. You always, uh, oh, to recap uh, what Evil Freak said, I always find myself doing too much detail in things. I don't know what you're talking about. No such thing. <laughs> I kid. I know what you mean. Uh, for me, it's, um, I try to maintain like a 70-30 rule. And so I feel like I'm, I mean, I might be overdoing it a little bit, but I think there's a good balance here between some of the greens. Maybe I've gone a little bit too much here. But like when I look down this path, I kind of want to see mostly orange. So like 70% orange, 30% green. I think that that works out. Whereas this, there's a lot more green, right? I think those vines are really helping with that. I don't know if I just took one off of there. That looks really cool too. Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit much. The backside though. Yeah, I like that. We've reached the one hour stream break we have. Thanks very much, Sandy. Appreciate that. I like that better. Let's do that. Do we go mangrove or do we go azalea? Just because it's out in the path. Oh, mangrove was more interesting. All right, if you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour and uh, gives me a chance to grab a glass of water, gives you a chance to do the same thing, maybe grab a snack, even tell a friend. Uh, we are trying to grow the channel, always trying to bring in more eyeballs. So if you would like to share the stream and let folks know that I'm live, uh, we'll be back here in about five or six minutes.
we're pretty close to nighttime here, so I'm just going to sleep before we go back outside. Thank you, Sweet Sandy. Thank you, Cosmic. Grandpa Crafter, good to see you as well. I am indeed the pumpkin farmer, and uh, we're not making as much headway as I hoped we were going to make today. The details are coming in, but um, we've only done this section, and I don't know. I don't know if I've got too many of these double high ferns. Maybe I've got too many. I don't know. Is this one done? I feel like this is done. Yep. On to the next. do that I'm gonna move this and then here maybe we can do a little vine action like that to do. I think the reason it's so slow going is because I've got to um, switch stuff in my inventory so often. So one of the things I wanted to try was using roots. And this might be a good spot to try it. So instead of green, maybe we'll go brown down there for fun. Don't like either of those. But I guess we'll go with the grass. It's like down here, we could probably do the same thing. Just for something a little bit different. Need a team of people each with their own inventory? Yeah, no kidding. Nothing to do with the 70-30 rule? I don't, you, I don't know what you mean. The inventory, you mean? This is where I feel like the, the path really needs some work. Hmm. 
That looks pretty good. Although I wonder, because of the pattern, we might be able to do um, Azalea here. Yeah, just because it looks like it matches that a little bit more. And maybe we'll actually flip these. Yeah, looks like it grows that way. I don't know if Mojang is going to do an actual inventory update. I feel like it might be something we um, we get in pieces. I don't know if it's going to be... I think they'll come up with some so, some several solutions, none of which is going to be a catch-all, but I think what will end up happening is that they'll implement one solution that they have an idea for, see how that goes, and if it goes well, then they'll try another one. That's that sort of idea. This is definitely missing some height. We've got some space back here. With a game of this age and size, logical updates to big things like inventory would make the most sense, yeah. I don't dislike that. I thought I was not going to like that, but... Maybe we'll just go three in a row. If it works, it works. Whoops. That makes sense. So then this side, got the bit there. I'd like to have a little bit of a height difference there. Same there. And that just helps a little bit. More so when you're coming out of the farm helps it look different than the wall okay I'm gonna get a couple more blocks because I want to do some texturing on the ground yeah we I have some inventory mods like obviously we've got the shulker box labels and I've got the ability to peek inside of a shulker box so like we can look inside I can't take anything out. I have to put it on the ground just like vanilla. But I like being able to like look inside. I think that's good. Especially when you've been in the game for seven plus years and you don't necessarily remember um, where the shulkers are. Oh, the pumpkins are things I need to do too. Um, I can put these back. I don't think we're going to use these. And put the book back. 
I can put the dirt back. But now I want that, that, gravel. And I think that's it. Maybe some strip spruce. Bandigo Blue, thanks very much for the raid. Appreciate you sending over your, over your viewers. Well, thanks, Cosmic. Yeah, I like the gate too. Sweet Sandy says it's not an easy thing to update with a community as passionate as Minecraft. Yeah, I think that's the thing is that if they implemented something that was not necessarily a change to the game, but perhaps something that you could do in game, like if they instead of just changing the UI, right, which I think would be a fairly straightforward solution. Um, but if like, say, if my idea is that I want to be able to put my tools on a different hotbar, so like a wheel or something else that you could have like here. And if that was the case, um, like for example, move the book up here, right? So crafting book goes up here and then have one, two, three, four, five slots here for five tools across the bottom here, right? They would be there and you would be able to scroll through them with your mouse wheel or whatever. Tool belt, exactly. I think my tool belt idea was something I mentioned on the show. And if you don't like it, then don't craft the tool belt and don't use it, right? I, th I think adding it in the gameplay would be would be a pretty cool way to do it. I think one of the things I want to do to get rid of this here is a little pumpkin here. I know that, don't know if that's overkill. I don't want to chop that one down. Yeah, I think I liked it better before. I kind of like that too. So maybe what we'll do is get rid of this one for now. And then hopefully this will just grow that way. Did we get any of the new pumpkins? Did any of the new ones grow? You haven't grown. You grew the other way, I guess. There's another trap door that I put down somewhere. I don't see it. That's pretty good. I like seeing these from the road, so I don't want to move those. And I guess here, I don't even know what this does on the map. Does it change anything? No, you can't see it. Okay. That's just for me. That's just a detail for me. For screenshots later. I wonder. See that from the road? A little bit? It's almost weird. Like just the very top pixel. That might not even show up on Twitch. I 
yeah, too many. I think we'll try to keep it to a minimum. Okay. I think a lot of the details in there. We're good. I don't I don't think it's too much green. There's definitely more on this side than there is the other. Maybe we'll get rid of this one. Seems to make more sense. You know, as much as I like the fact that that pumpkin has grown, I think I would prefer to have a fern back here. I knew it wasn't going to be in the middle of the block. Oh well. No, I haven't found all the cherry leaves. I haven't been looking for them. I think I see two more. Right, so we've not done any vines along here. Pretty good. One last one. Can't put them where there's carpet. I guess I could always get rid of the carpet. Let's put it on a different face. Or both, but I'm going to need more vines. A slow burn, but I'll find them over time, I'm sure. Sure I will.
I'm gonna need new vines soon. Foxcar20, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. So we haven't done a small block in a little while. I feel like this could maybe benefit from being a small block. Although there is one right there. It's fine. I think I'll switch this though. Do moss. I can't believe it's taken this long to just get this one. I want to say one third of the pumpkin pumpkin farm done. It's nice to have a proof of concept, like complete to have, to have it at a stage where I can then use it as reference for the rest. Another one over here that was grown. Yeah, that works. You know, I think as much as I want to like it on the moss, I think sometimes they do look better on the rooted, the mangrove roots. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to try this. Yep. Just as you walk by, it's just a nice form change. So I can get rid of this then. And probably put in a bush instead. Sure. Now, I feel like sometimes it takes away from the specialness of something nearby. Although, maybe that's a really good spot to put another one with an armor stand. This path might have to get a little bit wider. Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's go mud there.
Yeah, the mini blocks uh, were definitely emeralds well spent for sure. Do I want this to be? Yeah, I think I'll leave it like that. Oh, I didn't lock this one. I'm not sure if it's still a case, but um, locking them helps on memory issues. Sounds, sounds good to me. Looks good to me. I've done this before. Yes. Yes, I have. That looks pretty cool. So if we come around here, kind of see what it looks like. This is what on the right hand side, the finished pumpkin patch looks like. Not bad. I like it. Uh, so now what I want to do is work on a little bit of texturing along the ground. Not too crazy. I don't know about that block. I'm not sure. That's not bad. That's pretty good. The mangrove and the mangrove roots obviously go well together. Maybe I can switch these. I think it was better the other way around.
Now I don't know if this will be something that stays. Maybe we'll put a plank in there. Might not be a bad idea. And I don't need pumpkin seeds. The idea here is that it might be like reinforced landscape with some planks. That kind of thing. Looks pretty good. Might add in some gravel or something at some point. I don't want to get too far down that way because of course the wall still has to be done. That looks pretty good. I guess we'll just keep on going down here onto the onto the left as we go. Oh, maybe not there. Right. Now, mangrove might look good there, too. Yeah. Because of the, the muddy mangrove roots. Seems to work. So maybe this can go a little bit darker. Futures cats. Thanks for the tier one sub. Second month. That's the Earth Keystone badge. Usually just lurking, they said. I love hanging uh having your stream on in the background. Well that's really sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. And Cosmic Dancer, big sub hype just because with a giant emote. But I only, I see that in chat, but there's no notifications. But I haven't done the settings for those yet. There's nothing on Streamlabs to indicate to me that I've received a double size invo or a huge e emote. So I don't know whether that means that those bits that are being used for those emotes are going to just twitch. If they are, then that's not a great look on Twitch. So this might look better. I do like the spruce because it's got some green in it. But I think it's going to look better next to Moss. Yeah, let's um, we'll trim this up briefly.
It's hard to make this look natural. I think here we'll do maybe more roots back here. And then maybe some mangrove here. Even that feels a little bit light. Hmm. Don't have another texture that I could really go with. I guess that's fine. Hmm, maybe spruce. Something else I could try is some mossy cobble. Cosmic says the article I forwarded yesterday stated that they go to the streamer, but it's another thing where I feel like they've done it uh, and not explained it very well as to how it works. Yeah, that makes sense. One good thing is that your emotes look very good at that scale. I've seen a few that don't. Oh, yeah, no, because my emotes are my emotes are high res. I think I uploaded wherever the max was. I certainly have all the different versions. Because mine, I think I've got one that I can pop up like here. And that's per, that's even bigger than what you would see in chat, I think. On my monitor, actually, it looks about the same. So maybe it's about the same. I mean, I'm, I'm streaming in 1080p. And so this, that's like, that's a probably it's nine, uh, 1080. So that's probably 240, maybe 240 by 240. 220? I don't remember what they what the scale is on them. Sweet Sandy testing that one too. I think the problem with that for me looks cool, but I might have to dig into Streamlabs to see if um I can turn on notifications. So there's no audio that happens for me in the background when that happens. I also am not crazy about having the emotes dance across the screen. That's not something that I would want on my VODs, so I might go and turn that feature off. I've got to look into it. I didn't have time today. But as you mentioned, Cosmic, it's one of those things where you're just like, you know, it just gets launched and then you have to get an article from a friend to figure out how to use it. Or I find too that um, Nerd or Die, the place where I get a lot of my, um, a lot of my transitions and stuff, they get a newsletter, and I'll hear Twitch news from them. Ooh, do I like that? No, it feels a little bit too, too stony there. Yeah, I think it's distracting.
Yeah, really, I just want this to look like it's got a little bit of texture to it. That's all. Cool. That's where you get your news from, Fazu? Yeah. Yeah, I find it's pretty reliable, actually. They often explain things in, like, layman's terms. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this. I know I just did this before the break, but I think... What that needs instead is probably moss carpet. Gonna have to go repair some stuff soon. I'm always worried I'm going to punch a flower. I know it doesn't get destroyed. I can just put it back down. But whenever I open the door, I always feel like I'm millimeters away from destroying the flowers at the front door. Also, I wanted to get some light green concrete. <laughs> if you punch a flower, I'll punch you in Minecraft. Thank you for the clarification. Need to make more green concrete. Heard you coming. It's my bow. Actually, you know what? We're just going to do this. Anybody that's new want to see a quick tour <laughs> while I despawn this creeper and destroy pink. Oh, they're everywhere, aren't they, Cosmic? That should have gotten rid of them, I think. I'll go get the other two. Now that I saw them. It'll be nice to uh, be able to take screenshots of the pumpkin farm without all my giant shulker madness in the background, too. So I gotta be careful I don't get too carried away with this path because these aren't done. But I did want to put in some light green concrete there. And any place where could use a highlight, but I don't think I have. Oh yeah, I did it there already. Cool.
looks pretty good. I find putting texture next to the vines also helps. Whoops. What could I put there? Is that my last bit of mangrove? I think it must have been. Um, mangrove wood. Yeah, that seems to work really well. I like that combo. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Normally, I try not to line these up. I might have to move some stuff around here. Yeah, that looks a little bit strange. What if... Throw in a different one? Nope. Maybe I'll just move this. No, you know what? I think it was fine before. Can try two of them, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Or throw that in there. Yeah, almost looks like a muddy corner. Kira Calloway, hello. Kira? K Kira? Kira. Let me know if I'm sort of pronouncing that right. Are you Irish by chance? And who else I got? Uh, Prime X Trison. Thanks for the follow as well. Kiera. Cool, thank you. Appreciate the heads up. I will try to get it right, right next time as well, without asking. No promises. <laughs> One thing you meet, just a ton of people doing this. I think that's good. Oh, it's all good. There's lots of odd names on the internet for sure. I, I'd rather you have a real name that I can learn how to pronounce than Leet Speak Key Smash. <laughs> so welcome in. 
it's always tricky i think because um of like all lowercase that's i think if it's a real name the lowercase is like where where does the where does the first name end is there a middle initial you know like my my email address is joel e duggan and people miss it all the time they miss the middle e I think I might go for this over here and then this could be mangrove. Yeah. I guess Mangro would make sense here too. Maybe we'll push it over this way. And we'll switch the direction. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. Well, I think that's the end of that row. Yeah. It looks pretty good. A little bit of a checkerboard. But not too bad. bit better sure and I'm out of brown concrete anyway so probably a good spot to wrap things up this is what she looks like in the sunshine when I update from my vanilla tweaks I might get rid of this odd looking muddy texture on the pumpkin vine and bring it back to something a little bit more normal can't say I like the color. It's not bad. I, I feel like we've spaced the ferns out a little bit. There, there's a couple of clusters. They look okay, like in each each individual row. But sometimes when you're, like from here, it's okay. But when you're looking at it from this direction, I feel like they tend to all line up weirdly. It, yeah, like they seem to clump here. There's none there. There's clump there. It's just an odd perspective for that one time. But mostly it's the road. I guess that that main path is probably important too, but mostly it's the road on how I want them to look. I also should probably put like a path in here too. And they look fine from over here. They look good from out here. And go up here and take a, a quick walk back and see how we're doing from the distance views. Obviously, you can't see it until you get down. Just check something here. Oh, that looks cool. A lot of pumpkins. It it does sort of feel like they're in a row when you're far away. They feel a lot more staggered. I guess also the vines don't render in until you're close enough. But there's not a lot of orange once you get down here into the walkway, which is nice. I 
I mean, most of the time you're going to be looking where you're going. Oh, thanks, Cosmic. I like, I like this. This is pretty good. They don't, they feel like they're less in a row stuck together when you're actually up close to them. So I think that's a pretty good, pretty good feeling. Let's, one of my favorite views is from the wall. Let's just see what that looks like over here too. Yeah, you can see the big difference between the non-decorated, the rough layout in the back and then the viney layout up here in the front. The wall looks really good from a distance too. I'll have to remember that combo. It was really straightforward to do. Awesome. Folks, this is where we're going to have to wrap up the stream for the day. I'm going to do some Sunday cooking. But if you want to stick around, we're going to pass you along to Short Zelda 22. As long as they're not too close to finishing the stream, uh, they're doing a charity stream, I think, on... Um, I can't remember the name of the server. Uh, Advancements for Charity. What's the name of the server? Somebody help me out in chat. I can't remember. But I will pass you along, of course. You can uh, check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast for free every Monday. We're going to be recording a new episode tomorrow. Of course, there is also a um, a big drop that happened this week with the Tricky Trials. Uh, Pixel Riffs has been messing around. You can check out Pixel Riffs on YouTube. Uh, he's got a video out on the Crafter. So we'll be talking about his experience with that on Monday as well and you can also uh, look forward to me getting into the new update as soon as possible i'm still going to be pushing to finish this farm i think before i get into the tricky trials update but that'll, that'll be good because it'll it'll put some motivation behind finishing this uh, hopefully this week but like this took two hours to finish this up so like we still have all of this to do so i definitely have two probably three more streams before i can finish up this entire farm uh it is looking pretty cool though i it's starting to feel like on par with the the um the farm next to it you know when you think about the level of detail in this farm i think that this is starting to to come up and feel pretty good especially if you look at it from like this way when you can't see the other parts but like once once this wraps around this whole thing like like in a nice little horseshoe i think it'll look really cool if you used a gift sub today, if you uh, used some bits for those giant emotes, if you just made a donation uh, through Streamlabs, which is directly through PayPal, which is a fantastic way to support me. I really appreciate it. Uh, or if you used your tier one or peer, uh, prime sub, tier one or prime sub, I really appreciate it. Thank you ever so much, folks. Uh, this is the end of my streaming weekend, and um, I couldn't do it without you. This is not a job that I could do without your support, and it's awesome. You can also check out Patreon if you want to jump in at a cheaper way to support uh, more sustainable for you and and more reliable for me then check out patreon.com slash joel duggan it's only two dollars a month that's less than one cup of coffee to help me stream every weekend so i really appreciate it uh, do check out the discord if you've got a, a sub or uh are do you, you uh, do decide to check out that patreon because that's a great way to get into the discord as well thanks ever so much folks enjoy your time with short zelda i will see you tomorrow for the sponge chunks which you'll be watching on YouTube, right? Yes? Nod. Everybody nod. Cool. See you then. Bye.